Hey guys, welcome back. In this section, we're going to be talking about the portfolio post type. We're going to be going over adding new items, setting up categories, project attributes, adding videos, everything that would be important to you. So let's dive right into it and go over to the admin panel. From here, you can see there is a portfolio post type section in your left hand menu. When you click that, you're going to end up at the main project listing page. Let's start by adding a new item. Here you can see we have a place for a title, there's a text editor, extra project configuration options, video settings, and then on the right hand side we have categories, attributes, and a featured image place. So let's start by just filling out a new item and I'll take you through the whole process. Let's just add a random title, put in some dummy data over here, and sign a couple categories for sorting purposes put a couple attributes, and we can upload a featured image. So just by doing those things and publishing, we pretty much have a fully working portfolio item. You can see we added that very quickly. Let's go back over to the portfolio page and see what it looks like. And it just expected, it is now populating as it should. You can also see that it is now sortable by the categories we selected for it. We tagged it as an illustration, but we did not tag it into music, so it disappears. Going back to all, let's head into the more details page and inspect it further. Now you can see the full image as well as the description. The project attributes are listed directly below it based upon the ones we selected, and the social icons are above. These can be turned off in the theme options panel if you don't need them. Okay. Let's quickly go over how to set up your own categories and your own attributes and define what attributes exactly are. As categories are probably self-explanatory, there's a little bit of ambiguity with attributes. Attributes are essentially anything that you would like to tag the project with, a display in that checkmark icon based manner below your project description that you enter. And the slug will be created for you. Now we have a new attribute, and when we go to the portfolio item, when we were either creating a new project or editing a previous one, it will now display here for us to simply check off. When we update that, we'll see it display on the front end. My attribute. Great. Let's go back into the admin panel. And let's talk about some of the other things we can do. You also have an option to upload multiple images if you need a gallery. We can do that by clicking on the Add Media button. Here, any images that we select in the Create Gallery section will be added to our gallery. Let's add a few. It doesn't really matter if the dimensions are different because the slider that we're using has variable height. So let's insert a gallery. The gallery is now active for the page. You might not be able to see it over here, but WordPress just automatically inserts a shortcode which is visible by the Text tab. You can see right here the IDs of the pictures that you've selected. So if you just hit update, what's going to happen is you're going to get a gallery that appears in your sidebar. And it's not going to be a slider at all because we didn't tell it to be a slider. It's just a normal WordPress gallery, which is columns of images. So that's definitely not what we want. If you want to just automatically take any images that you insert into that gallery shortcode, and force it to become a slider, which is an option exclusive to Salient, then just come down here to the project configuration and check off the gallery slider. Now, once we do that and click update, you're going to see that we now have a full slider with all the images that we selected appear right here. Great. The featured image, though, however, is still the one that we have set for the thumbnail. So now we're getting to set up a little bit more of a complex project, which is great. If you don't want your gallery anymore, removing it is as simple as switching back over to the text and deleting the shortcode that was inserted. Adding a video to your project is the exact same process as adding a video anywhere else in the theme. So follow the same instructions given for the home slider or for the post type video. Just upload your MP4, OGV if it's a self-hosted, or paste your embed code into this box. Your project will then use a video instead of a featured image on the more details page. Okay, so let's update this after we've removed the gallery. Let's just go check it out real quick. Okay, we're back on a normal project. 
One thing that's very important to users is adding additional content in this main section over here. Below this, maybe stacking images or adding text or other content and not being restrained to only adding things into the sidebar, which is where the editor currently is populating. So there is an option in the portfolio options to extend this functionality. Let's go take a look at that right now. Heading back to the admin panel and going to the salient options panel, portfolio options, you'll see that there is an option for the extra content editor that is turned off by default for simplicity. But now we're going to activate that. Once we activate that, you see we also have another option to enable the sidebar to follow us on scroll. This is useful for when we end up with long pages because of lots of stack content and makes it for a more intuitive experience for your user. We're going to activate that as well. Save changes, and when we go back into the portfolio post type, you're now going to see an extra editor below. Extra content. Now, anything that we place in here will end up being stacked below a featured image or the featured video, whatever the, the media type you've chosen for your project is. So let's go to add some media, and let's just start adding some more pictures. Now we can continue adding whatever we like, just as if this was a blog post. So we can continue stacking images, unlimited images, or we could even just go in and add some short codes because we have the freedom to really do whatever we please. So just for the heck of it, I'm going to add a bar graph short code. Test two and three for good measure. And add that short code. And this is probably enough content to preview the page at this point to give you an example of what it's going to look like. So let's go back to the post. And now you can see we have our featured image that we've set and our extra content appearing below it. Also, you can notice that the sidebar is now following us when we scroll. I'd like to thank you again for joining me in this tutorial. We'll see you in the next video.